Now, many people associate African art with tribal masks and primitive pieces. But a new exhibit at the National Museum of African Art here in Washington, D.C. seeks to challenge that stereotype. I visited the exhibit to see the museum's latest African artifacts firsthand. Gus Kisley Hayford became a museum professional in part out of frustration. The museums he grew up going to in the Western world didn't depict his African culture for what he thought it was, full of culture, complexity and creation. Now director at the National Museum of African Art, Kaisley Hayford has the opportunity to show exhibitions that depict Africa in that light. The museum's newest exhibit, World on the Horizon, Swahili Arts Across the Indian Ocean, in his opinion, does just that. This exhibition is a celebration of that very thing. The Africa that I love, the confident, outward-facing, innovative Africa that I see whenever I travel. Curators Alison Papura and Prita Maya gathered works of Swahili art from across four continents to create World on the Horizon. Their seven years of searching produced 170 hand-selected objects for the show, ranging from gold jewelry to photographs. Several pieces have never before been seen in North America. The idea of um, bringing these objects to get together in this exhibition um, is uh, really one of the main, um, uh, probably one of the main accomplishments, I would say, that really help to show the depth and breadth historically, culturally, in terms of the confluence of peoples and cultures that come together to make this, to, to introduce a, a, a truly um, global approach to African art. Each item in the exhibition speaks to the modernity and creativity of the Swahili coast culture. The photographs in particular shows just how sophisticated the region was. We often don't associate uh, photography with Africa, but one of the incredible and radical aspects of Swahili Coast peoples is that within only 10, uh, only 10 years after the invention of photography in Europe in the 1830s, Swahili Coast residents, especially of the major port cities of Mombasa, Zanzibar and Lamu, um, appropriated and took Swahili uh, and took photography to be their most favored and most favorable um, medium of self-making. By curating and showing the first major traveling exhibition dedicated to Swahili coast art, the exhibit staff hopes to give visitors a new appreciation of the Swahili coast region as well as the African continent. Africa isn't just the birthplace of humanity. It's the birthplace, the collaborator, the catalyst in great trans-regional innovation and creativity. And if you're prepared to look, you'll see that all over the continent. Visitors to the National Museum of African Art can explore the World on the Horizon exhibition until September 3rd.